Um, now, the next question, I think we dealt with a lot of these issues, which is uh, about, you know, the sort of difficulties um, with uh, children who've got sort of complex uh, needs. Um, but this basic question, though, is, is, is pointing out just the sheer difficulties and, and asking uh, about the probability that children with complex health needs, as is particularly across the six uh, LDD special schools with 67 sort of our children uh, with very, very sort of a, a, a complex sort of our needs, what's the probability they're going to be able to return to school safely in September? And perhaps that's one for you, Duncan. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know is the answer to that. I don't know what the probability is. Um, and this is something that there was another question about there about Bradford's approach being different to Public Health England. I mean, I, I've taken more a more risk averse approach in the, the guidance that I've been issuing in terms of vulnerable children coming back to school um, because the infection rates were a lot higher a couple of months ago when we were starting to, to get children going back to work. They're at a lower rate now, so, so pa parents might want to think that, that it's less risk. But we've got a set, what, what I've got and what I want to get out for September is a set of flowcharts that help children and families and schools really assess that risk themselves. And I want to try and do that with Helen. So, so we're in touch with that at the moment. About And then, and then we can make that, that that judgment. I think the, the bit where I've been a little bit more risk averse is that seem to be um, some of the government guidance seem to be almost um, sort of skimming over the fact that this was an extremely difficult, um, a difficult decision to make for families. So it wasn't only a matter with the GP that needed to have a conversation, is that all families needed to be talking to people like Helen and their specialist and paediatrician as well to have a really risk-based judgment before they make that decision. That, that, uh, so that would be my, my answer is that there's no, I can't give you a probability, it's got to be on a case-by-case -case basis and we'll provide as much support as we can for that. I don't know, Helen, I don't know if you've got anything about that as well. Yeah, no, no, I, I think really just to say it's, it, the picture is altering all the time. Um, and, and, and so I think it's a little bit of please bear with us and, and we'll help on an individual basis as much as we can. Um, I say guidance is changing all the time and, and the push at the moment and the really clear advice from the college is that almost all children, the benefit of them being back is greater than the risk. But that is very much at the present time with the prevalence as it is and with the information we have at the moment. So I think it's a bit of watch this space. We will keep in close contact and let you know as if we see a changing pattern. Um, but at the minute, I think quite a few, the push will be to get them back into school. 